All right, welcome back to the channel. We are gonna start a new series. We are gonna start doing Knife of the Month. We're gonna feature a knife every month that I either use quite often or is one of my EDC knives, whatever. We're gonna pick one every month, kinda of talk about it, give you some of the specs on it, and just tell you overall what I think. In the future, we are also gonna start working on a series for Gun of the Month. These are all things that I'm into. I've had some requests actually about some of my AR builds that people see in videos and I kind of thought, you know what, we're going to start talking about some gear on this channel. Um, I feel bad because I've put a few reviews up for motorcycles and things like that, but I haven't really covered um, some of the things that I'm really into. So I love hunting and fishing and anything outdoors, you know, I live full time in my RV, but I do carry, depending on what state I'm in, I, I carry um, different gear depending on where I'm at. So I say that in regards to knives because some states you can't have the uh, automatic out of the front knives. So you're stuck with a flipper. But me, I don't feel bad about having a flipper at all. And I really like um, the products that Spyderco makes. So today, our knife of the month for December of 2021 is the Spyderco Smock. I have been carrying this now for a month. Got it about a month ago. Carried it every day. And I feel like after a month of having it in my pocket every day and using it, that I can actually, you know, give you my honest opinion on it. I always have a clip style knife in my pocket. And I always have my trusty, you know, old Swiss Army knife in my other pocket just this is what I use whenever I'm I know I'm gonna be rough on a blade or if I need a small flat screwdriver or something like that this is what I use for cutting up boxes opening packages and hopefully never stabbing somebody so the Spyderco smock this is the carbon fiber series it's made the blade is made out of the S30V steel which is pretty common for Spyderco a lot of their knives are made out of that um, the knife feels extremely light however it tips the scales at 3.7 ounces my pair of three that i carried the month before felt a little heavier but it only weighed three ounces so i don't know if it's the profile of the knife or what but that's that's just my honest opinion like this knife for some reason in my pocket feels really light and you almost forget it's there i did on this knife change out the clip here to a Lynch clip. They're called Lynch Northwest. A lot of my spider coats have these. This is a titanium clip that I actually had for another knife and, and I never got around to putting it on. So when this knife showed up, I threw it on here. I like the look of it. I think it's pretty cool. But what I like most about it is, is compared to the standard clip that spider coat gives you, you can see that it actually lets it sit significantly deeper in your pocket it's very comfortable and it helps me feel like my knife is really secure i ride a lot of motorcycles i do a lot of things outside and i do not want to lose any of my quality knives i really don't want to lose anything but you know i'm kind of bad about that at times but my these knives you know a lot of these spider codes like this one here i want to say was about 190 bucks to my door, which seems like a pretty good deal. If you look them up on Spyderco, they, they say that the MSRP is around 250. You can usually beat the MSRP pretty significantly. The stats on this knife is the overall length with the blade extended is 7.92 inches. The blade itself is 3.39 inches. Closed, which it has the push button lock, it's 4.53. And as I said before, the weight is 3.7 ounces. Now, this is one of my few Spydercos that are not made in the USA. This is a Taiwan-made Spyderco. They have a few different plants. They have, they have one in Japan, um, Taiwan, and in Colorado. I tend to buy a lot of the knives from the U.S. just because I like to buy U.S. products. I have heard, though, from many people on forums and in other places who have said that 
If you actually know about Spydercos, the Taiwan-made Spydercos are some of the best. This one seems like it's perfectly centered, and I do have to admit that compared to some of my other ones, I did I had no break-in on it. This thing is really slick from the factory. I didn't tear it apart and lube it. I haven't done anything to it except for run a strop across a blade a few days ago just because after being in my pocket for a month, I just kind of figured it might need it because I've actually used it pretty significantly. It probably didn't because it came razor sharp and it's still razor sharp. I think that the carbon fiber scales that are on here are really nice looking. They kind of match the little carbon wallet that I carry. And I have to say that this is ranking right up there as one of my favorite knives. I, I really didn't have much expectation for this. I just kind of thought like, eh, you know, it's a little different than everything else I have. I have a lot of like pair of twos, pair of threes and different blades and all that. And I really like those knives a lot. But this one is surprising to me. Like I said, the blade contour is a little bit different. I don't, I don't think you would, um, you know, you're not going to choose it to go to a knife fight or anything. But it is very handy and it feels really nice in the hand. Like, it just, it just feels good. I've used it significantly, and, and I just feel like, you know, this is, this is a nice knife. It really exceeded my expectation. So, overall, what do I think? You know, out of, out of five stars, if I was given this, you know, a rating of up to five stars, I would say that this knife is a strong four and a half, five stars. I really can't think of anything I don't like about it. You know, I do wish on all Spider Co's that they would come with, you know, a little bit deeper clip. I, I've never liked the Spider Co standard clip, but I get it. That's that's what they have. That's what they come with, and it provides, you know, something for a new buyer to go out and upgrade and get to his preference. I'm sure a lot of people just like the standard clip and they're happy with that. I like it to sit a little bit deeper. So, let me know what you all think. If you like the start of this series, um, just put something in the comments. Let me know, and we're going to keep pressing on. We have a lot of different EDC knives. We have a lot of bushcraft-style knives and really, like, utility-style knives that we use. So, I will start going over all those once a month. But for December of 2021... My pick is the Spider Coast Smock, and I think that it is a wonderful knife. And if you like the look of it, you're probably going to love the feel of it. So check them out. Thanks again.